Hello and welcome to iCNAS Zero to Hero training. This training is provided for you by IP Infusion in collaboration with Orhan Ergun Training Company. My name is Imani and I'm going to teach you the configuration of different technologies on iCNAS operating system. First of all, let me show you the agenda which I'm going to cover in this part of the course. I'm going to start with an introduction to Arcanus operating system, what it is, what is an open networking operating system, what are the white boxes that you can just install Arcanus or any other open network operating system on those uh, white boxes, and also what is the, uh, you know, so where, where Arcanus excels other operating systems in the market. And after that, I'm going to start talking about layer two technologies. You should know that ICNAS operating system could be used for layer two technologies as well as layer three. So you can have this on switches and routers. And this operating system almost has every feature that you need for layer two, such as the spanning tree, VLANs, I don't know, root bridge configuration, port fast configuration, BPDU guard, BPDU filter, and a lot of different things. Uh, and multiple spanning tree link aggregation and dynamic and static link aggregation as a matter of fact. So all of them are covered and I'm going to have some labs for all of these uh, topics. After that, I'm going to start talking about layer three. So in layer three, two of the most common protocols, which are standard by the, of course, are OSPF and ISIS. For both of them, I'm going to start from very simple configuration then i'm going to add to them and i'm going to say uh for example what are the features that we can uh include in these operating systems we can go with network types area types um, specifically about ospf we have different types of areas which are all supported on icnos and what is the usage of each one of them how you can configure them then um I'm going to uh, talk about, let's say, authentication in both ISIS and in OSPF. In ISIS, of course, authentication is going to be a little bit different and more advanced. ISIS is going to have some uh, other topics, for example, route leaking, which I'm going to cover in them. And after that, we are going to talk about, uh, I don't know, multi-level configuration in ISIS. And of course, a lot of some other topics that I'm going to cover in here. And after that, I'm going to speak about BGP. Now, BGP is very important protocol and uh, in big enterprises and service providers, of course, BGP is going to be a dominant protocol and you need to know almost everything about how you can configure that. So this is not going to cover almost, uh, I, I wouldn't say that this is going to be super complete, but I'm going to say uh, you can have almost every feature that you need for uh, running BGP in your service provider network um, in these labs, including a uh, very basic configuration, different types of address families. Of course, there are more than 18 address families under BGP. I'm not going to cover all of them. Some of them are going to be in accordance with other technologies, such as uh, layer two VPNs, layer three VPNs, and segment routing. So all of them, uh, could be covered but of course that would be a very very long course but in here i'm going to speak about let's say a route reflection confederation different types of attributes for best pass selections which i'm going to show you some of them in the labs uh, some other features such as synchronization layer 3 vpn uh, hierarchical route reflector is going to be a very good uh, topic and I'm going to speak about that. AdPath is going to be another one, for example. Uh, some other features which are going to be a little advanced, for example, what are stop autonomous systems, which we are going to cover in here. Uh, some other attributes such as med, local preference, weight, which is interesting to be included in ICNAS, uh, are going to be part of this BGP and also some other uh, types of, you know, uh, configurations such as RTBH, which I'm going to speak about this in short, uh, but of course all of them are uh, supported in here. And then we are going to uh, talk about MPLS. In MPLS layer 3 VPNs, of course, we are going to 
have uh, internal configuration and using LDP for example, using uh, MPLS for forwarding label switching and we are going to talk about um, VRFs as a matter of fact. Then I'm going to speak about using different types of protocols uh, for PE, CE um, adjacencies such as using OSPF, static routes, ISIS or BGP for them. And then we are going to talk about some other technologies like layer 2 VPNs. Uh, specifically, I'm going to speak about VPWS and VPLS. In these two uh, technologies, of course, there is an old style configuration in Agnos and a new style configuration, which I'm going to cover both of them so that you can see what is the difference and what is the newer type of configuration, which is much simpler than the previous one. Some other things, such as eVPN, of course, single homed and multi homed, we are going to have labs for them. Some technologies such as 6BP and 6P is included in the course. Interius MPLS option A and B, as a matter of fact, and I could include option C, but um, that wouldn't be necessary in this course because I'm going to speak in detail about them, so you are not going to feel any lack of uh, knowledge in, in this part. Then uh, we are going to talk about segment routing, of course, and we are going to start from a very simple one, which dynamic policies, but we are going to add some constraints and after that add some segment lists. And then I'm going to show you how you can load balance on different explicit paths that you have. And also I'm going to have some simple uh, labs. I'm, I'm not going to go into very much detail about that, but we are going to have uh, some some of the um, tasks about quality of service. I'm going to show you how we can police, mark, shape, or map uh, different types of uh, markings to each other, and also some other features such as storm control are going to be uh, part of that. So. And of course, in the end, I'm going to speak about um, queues and how you can just configure queues in Arcanus operating system. So this is just an overview of what is going to happen in each one of the videos. Of course, I uh, might have a lot of other stuff inside that. I have just uh, created a lot of labs and I have provided these labs in three different versions in Eve community version, in Eve pro version, and also Another environment which I use mostly during the configuration that's going to be Peanut Lab that you can just download it and install it on your uh, device for free. So all uh, except Eve Pro, which is subscription based, you don't have to pay for the other environments, but all of them, of course, supports the labs and you can just uh, import the labs uh, based on the type of uh, emulation environment that you are working on. And uh, some workbooks that I have uh, included in the course. So in the workbooks, I have um, explained different tasks and also the configuration and the verification result. You can, of course, replicate all of them on the environment just by looking at the videos, but the workbook is going to be there just for the sake of uh, convenience and, and in case you just want to take a look at the configuration and uh, make some observations. So here is the agenda of the course. I hope this is going to be informative for you and see you in the next videos.